Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're playing the Commonwealth here in Yobo Universalis 4. We are annexing our vassal, Naples, and uh, we're trying to avoid the steam cloud saves, because they're kind of annoying. Nizzy Novgorod will be next. I guess we can do them whenever we want. So... No, we can't start right now. That's right. I need to grab this province first. And then we can sell it to them. Then we'll start the annexation. All right. So we need to go to war with Muscovy before we can do that, which I think will be in four years. Oh, there goes Naples. All right, all right, hold on. Calm your tits. And we have Revolutionary War on Tuscany. That's cute. Uh, no, two years. Two years we can go to war with Muscovy. Oh, look at this. Commonwealth in Naples. Glorious. All right, 15 new units. He's building a whole bunch of ships that I don't want. What the hell did you build? Galleys. There's nothing wrong with galleys, okay? I don't have a problem with galleys, I simply don't want them right now. And the trade ships, they're cute and all, but why don't you go be useful up here in Novgorod? Hey, hey. In the meantime, Austria recently broke their alliance with us. Understandable, since we have claims on each other, and their allies are so shit, I really want their king to die, because I believe, I'm just guessing here, you, you can never t you can never tell for sure. But I believe their their son there, that Philip Jagiellon, I, I have faith that he has no heir. So when he takes over, we can claim the throne. I just, I gotta pounce on it, and we have to have more prestige than he does when the change takes place. And currently, he's got 97, I've got 100. However, his is going down at 1.5 per year, mine's going down at 2.25 per year. So we will go below him in prestige unless we go to war. So, we'll just have to go to war, I guess. It's fine by me. <laughs> I do not mind going to war. Our manpower is at full. Our army is pretty much at full. I mean, we're in a good place. You know what? Let me build a couple more um, cannons out here. And a couple more cannons. There you go. Because that army is just all... Yeah, it's just all soldiers. Okay, group up. And you're patrolling over the... No, you're not patrolling. Yeah, you're fine. Whatever. But yeah, we were looking at going to war with Brandenburg. The moment Austrian king dies, Brandenburg will be the new emperor. And he has no fucking allies. So I just want to go in there and beat this shit out of him. Sounds like fun, huh? <laughs> and I was looking at vassalizing Saxony. I don't know if we can do that without going to war, though. So we might have to go to war to do that. But I guess I'm okay with that. That wouldn't be the end of the world. All right. Unpause. Go. Two years, we can go to war with Muscovy again, which will be nice. Here, go join the Navy, please. Join the Navy. Oh no, an advisor has arrived, a naval reformer. What advisors do we have? We have a 43-year-old statesman. Thumbs up. We have a 40-year-old land maintenance guy, which I guess I don't care about. I'd rather have a morale of armies, but there isn't one, so whatever. And we have a missionary guy who has been helping us convert so much of our land. It's amazing how much this guy has helped us convert. And he's 68. This guy is so old. Advisors never live this long. Never. He has a one in five chance of dying every year. And he hasn't died. He's like the Miracle Man. Miracle Whip? No, 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 Miracle Man. Miracle Whip. Perm, have you claimed Vyatka? No, Perm has still not claimed Vyatka. I don't understand this. Perm has been existing for years now, and he has just refused to claim Vyatka. I need him to claim it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'll just take it if he won't. You know? Bohemia wants an alliance. Really? I mean, I'll get relations up if you want, but we ain't getting no damn alliance. You dig? Die. You're 73. Just die. You're 73 years old. How can he still be alive? What the hell is he doing all day? Do they just have someone like slowly dabbing a sponge across his forehead to keep him moist? Ah, tech up time. There we go. Nice. We're slowly catching up to everybody. Having level 3 advisors does help. And more conversions. Very good. Very good. 
Ah, the cannon. No, the cannons are not done. The cavalry is done. There's the cannons. All right. Now we're converting in Palermo. Well, mm, nah, just very low revolt risk. What the hell? Another galley? How many galleys did you build? <laughs> Any cues that the AI had. When you annex somebody, all of their building cues remain intact. If they had a construction going, or a unit building, or a ship building, all of those will finish. You don't have to pay for them until they're done, but you don't pay for the initial construction cost. They continue to build. It's kind of neat, but then you have all this stuff just spawning out of nowhere, and it's like, what happened? Where did all that crap come from? It's like, I don't know. We done did having the done crappins. It happens. This guy's never gonna die. I'm I'm just gonna have to ad accept that Austria's king will not ever die. Ooh. Yes, offensive musketeers. Sounds like fun. Ooh. Cossacks. Cossacks sound fun. And what about the cannons? Oh, it's the same cannon. Okay. New units. What about new soldiers? When do we get new soldiers again? Uh, tech 18. Three techs. Oh, that's a long way off. Oh, shoot, stupid cardinals. Come back to me, cardinals. Return to the flock. And you stand as a peasant's war? That sucks. 74! Oh my god, he's 74. This guy is never gonna die. He's just never gonna die. Oh right, did I annex Naples? I did. Okay, let's go ahead and vast. I forgot to get Ragusa as an ally. You know, it'd be nice if you would claim Dalmatia. Oh, they did. <laughs> So we can immediately go to war with Venice, who has, like, no allies. And we can get Dalmatia and give it to Ragusa, and he'll court for us. Perfect! Ah, it's a beautiful world. Ragusa is reformed. Whatever. Do whatever you want to do. You're crazy, man. Oh, Austria, just die. Just die. He's not dying, but he is stealing cardinals. 64, I'm, in, I'm investing in a 64-year-old potential cardinal. Oh, goodness, what a waste. France is at war, what happened? You're at war with Liege, over what? Oh, you're gonna drag me into that war, aren't you? Uh-oh, you're gonna drag Austria into that war. It's gonna be France versus Austria, isn't it? Uh-oh, oh crap. No, I don't want to marry you, Ragusa. Sorry. <laughs> Not yet. We'll marry you later. Ah, oh, there it is. Crap. You know what this means, though? It means that the Emperor is going to die. Oh, wait. Liege is the leader? How the hell is Liege the leader? What? That doesn't even make sense. How the hell is Liege the leader? <laughs> what? Oh, because they're the de they're, they're the ones who declared the war. That's why. God, that's so weird. Uh, sit in Zeppies. We'll just let Austria come to us. Here, split in half. Go to Zalbox, and we can go this way to Pest. We'll just kind of group up, and if he wants to come fight me, we'll be ready. Oh, God damn it. This sucks. He's going to die while we're at war. Can we just peace out? Please? No. Oh yeah, he's coming. I'm gonna go back to Krako. Alright, we'll do that. Can I even get out? Yep, okay. I was concerned there for a second. Alright, he's coming for me. That's fine. Come right ahead. 31st. Slow down to speed 3. Alright, he's committed now. 
Yeah, big battle. He's bringing three backup units. I'm bringing about 100,000 back. He does have more morale, but we have more Disher Kern. And I think we'll be okay with all of our backup. On the other hand, I would like to get out of this war. I want to be able to declare war on Austria, and I can't do that if we have a fucking truce. You know? But then again, I also don't want to concede defeat, because then we'll be missing, what, 10 prestige? Yeah. No, I'm okay with that. Okay. We're out of the war. France will be pissed, but... Okay, we, we're truced now. We're truced. For five years. I don't care. I'll, I'll break truce for... I'll break truce to, to get his throne. Still. Alright, go sit up there. You can stay there. Go back. I'll just stay in pest. I'll break truce for his throne, but man, I didn't want to have to go to war this early, you know? Oh, speed up. Oh, he doesn't even care about separate peace? Oh, why not? I don't know. Weird. Hmm, Austria's threatened. We'll get our prestige back by beating up Muscovy, who has no allies. <laughs> no allies! Of course they have no allies. Why would Muscovy have ally? Muscovy moved their capital. Where to? Uh, Miram. Oh, that sucks. That means I can't give it to my vassal. Oh, Christ on a stick. Look how bad that is. He has a claim on it, but I can't give it to him. Well, I guess I can if I take, if I take it in another war. Yeah, he has a claim for a few more years. Okay. No, you can't have access. Aiden, get out of here. When can I declare war on you? February. Okay. Let's see if my vassals can do the war, because I don't really want to. Oh. Uh, just Revolutionary War, whatever. Perm still has no claim on this crap. God damn it, Perm. And he won't be small enough to annex this war. Not that I would, but he's no, he won't be small enough anyway. So how much do we need? He's at uh, 156. So we have to take at least 56% in this war. Okay. Can do. I can't believe the Emperor still has not died. What the hell is keeping them together? You know, tape? What is keeping this man up, upright? He's freaking 74 years old. He's probably still leading troops on the battlefield. He is truly a crazy man. Come on, vassals. Fight for me. I don't really want to. Hey, how's our trade doing? Uh, 25 ducats? Not that much, is it? Hmm. Yeah, our weakest spot is Krako, really, but eh, whatever. Oh, right, we need to actually fight battles if we want to get prestige. Duh. Here, go fight battles. Go kick some butt. I don't know what made me think I wouldn't need to fight battles, but I do. To get the prestige, you must battle. I really want to claim this fucking throne. You know, I have all this anticipation, all this hype, and watch, I won't even be able to claim his throne uh, because he'll have, an, an, he'll have another heir. Watch. You'll see. 
You'll shoot your eye out. I don't want to bring all these guys up. Give me half. Stop it, Caribus. That fucker's mine. Mine. Unhappiness among the artisans. I'll just abolish attack. No, that loses prestige, huh? No, it loses a thousand ducats. Oh my god. Well, it's better than losing stability. Losing stability means I lose tech points. I don't want to lose tech points. Ah, there's some prestige. Just a little bit, but some. Kick his butt, and then go kick his butt. Like this. Yeah. Nice. Why are my vassals not sieging anything? You should totally be sieging stuff, vassals. You useless little bastards. Weren't you programmed to siege stuff? I think I should stop investing in that guy who's like 67 years old. He's fucking ancient. Oh, we got no prestige for that? Really? Why do we get no prestige for beating his army in his capital? In his old capital. That's weird. War of Hindustan succession. Really? Hindustan is up for grabs? Yeah, no shit. He's in a personal union under Madurai. <laughs> How are you ever going to annex them, Madurai? Are you kidding me? And he's in a regency council. It's an 11 year old boy ruling over Madurai and hit whatever. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Craziness. Oh, he's 75 years old. Don't die. Guy's just amazing. Well, hopefully, we'll get some prestige for fighting this battle. This ought to be good. Yeah, kill them Russians. Them Muscovites. Come on now. There you go. I got six shock. What do you got? Nothing. Six prestige. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now smash them up. 200,000 manpower. 200,000 manpower. Holy shit. He's going to Kostroma. I guess he's going to go back to Moscow. I don't know, really. Where are you going? Yep, he's going to Moscow. All right. Fine by me. 200,000 manpower. Whew, nice. Smolensk has converted. Good, good. Keep going. Don't ever stop on my account. Oh, let me get there. I want the prestige. Please let me get there. God, he's still alive. Wait a minute. Someone's voting for him. Whoa, things are changing. Someone's voting for him, and people are now voting for Saxony for the emperor. What? Yay, we got there. Tell me we're going to get like uh, eight prestige for it. Come on, eight prestige, eight prestige. Six prestige. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, where to now? Probably all the way back to Vyatka. All right, what are you at? Uh, 94. Good, we have more prestige than you do. And he wants an alliance again. I'm I'm fine with an alliance, really. But I just want you to die. I want to be able to declare war on your dumbass. Oh, was that our sixth shock general? It was! Our sixth shock general died. Oh, four shock. Well, still. Come on, man. You, you kill off my sixth shock and give me a four shock? That's just bad voodoo. Not cool. Push them. Give me a hundred prestige. And more conversions. Good. Don't ever stop. Alright, they're toast. Drop a siege. Run to Ustyug. Just heal the fuck up, man. 
Will someone please siege Muscovy? Our statesman died. No! Shoot. Oh, I don't want a level one. Screw it. I need the I need the diplo points. So we'll go for better relations. No, he's only level two. Spy offense? No, better relations. <laughs> Even though he's 45, still. Oh my god, our our our, our inquisitor is 71. I've never had an advisor live this long. He's 71. He must be, like, maybe he secretly is the emperor. He's 76. He's 76. Oh, man. He probably doesn't even know who he is anymore. He's like, what is the emperor? There's no way he has any clue what's going on. Ever. All right, let's go top off France. We're down to 85. Ah, <sighs> Britain, sure, top off Britain. And it looks like Spain is invading the shit out of Portugal. That looks like fun. Oh, hello. Hello, my friend. Good. Has Perm still not claimed this thing? Yeah, he still has. He's just not. I'll just. I'll just core it. Screw you, Perm. You're a jerk. Diplomat. Ooh. Come on, Perm. You have until the end of this war to get a claim. He's not going to do it. Yay, we got a new Cardinal. We now have five out of the seven. And we don't have enough points to go steal this guy, but we will. I need to, I need to remember to stop investing in this clown. That's ridiculous. 300 points invested. What a joke. What a joke. Yeah, still nothing. Max relations with France, that's fine. Can I have some access, please? Actually, I'll just... He's not going to get the claim, is he? He's just not going to do it. I mean, he's had years. Just screw it. Just vassalize him. Whatever. Get out of my way, perm! I'm just... Okay, no more investing in him. Uh, steal this guy. Invest in useful people. go all right now does he have an heir he lived a long time please tell me he has no heir please tell me he has no heir please tell me he has no heir ah oh, he must have an heir shits he is 63 though 
Oh, look at this. It's just a really young kid. God damn it. <laughs> so who's the emperor? Saxony? Yep, Saxony is the emperor. Okay, so we did not get a chance, unfortunately. Did not get a chance. Ugh. Well, that's disappointing. What I'm thinking, though, is we can... What, the Hansa exists? Wait a minute. It says this clown is allied with the Hansa. Where's the Hansa? Oh! Oh, right, right, right! Do you have cores, Hansa? I'm curious. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hansa, Hansa. You do! Oh, that's amazing. How long do you have these cores for? 1703, you don't say. Oh, I like this, 1641. Hey, Hansa, would you like to be a vassal? I bet he would. Actually, he wouldn't. I bet we can change his mind. We can vassal him and go get his land. Hmm. This is a glorious idea. so sure he wouldn't have an heir. And then, of course, he has an heir. Damn it. At least I got your hopes up, right? It's a good thing I got your hopes up and then dashed him. Stupid Austria. Crap. Even Saxony has a claimable heir. Wow. Yeah, just a weak claim, I guess. Uh, what's this? More expensive military tech or lose tradition? I'll lose the tradition. I cannot afford more expensive tech. We need to keep teching up as fast as easternly possible. All right, finish sieging, please. Oh, the Hansa. They're going to be a fun one, I can tell. Sixteen oh two, we can annex Twer, because now Nizhny Novgorod is going to take a little longer than expected, because we're going to have to take Kasimov in this war, and then we'll have to take Miram in the next war. Ugh, so stupid. More conversions go. Look at that; they're all less than twenty months now. We're getting down to the list of really low base tax provinces now. Fantastic. We've done all the difficult ones already. That's just great. I'm going to focus on the under 60-year-olds. I mean, no, I can get him too. Eh. I just don't want to overcommit some uh, points, if you know what I mean. But yeah, if we can vassalize the Hansa, that'd be great. Are they still in the Empire? Uh, empire, Empire. Uh... No, the Hansa is no longer in the Empire because their capital is up here. Huh. Very odd. Oh yeah, he will definitely vassalize. Cool. We just have to find a way to get relations high enough. But I think we'll be okay in that zone. Uh, enemy of enemy will be our easiest way. Let's throw Brandenburg in there. That'll change his attitude away from neutral, probably towards friendly, or at least um, cordial. Oh, Ragusa wants a marriage. <sighs> sure, because it looks like we're not going to be claiming Austria's throne anytime soon, unfortunately. Sorry, Muscovy, can't peace out yet. Man, so disappointing. I got all hyped up, you know? But I mean, he is super old, so, you know, maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky after he dies. How's our king, anyway? Uh, Jonas Albertus. Wow, he's 63 as well. And when he dies, we have Jonas Albertus II. <laughs> Alright, 
Moskva has sieged. Wow, that's 88? Are you kidding me? Oh, crap. Uh, wow, that is a lot of war score. That's 62 war score. Oh my god. And we can't even do that? Really? Fuck. Alright, do that. That way we'll make sure his capital is isolated and we can take it in a war. Still, though, oh my god, that sucks. Okay. Now these two we're gonna have to core ourselves. That's what sucks, because nobody has claims on them. Kazan has claims on them. Feels kind of like a waste of points, you know, 151 points and 60 points. So 100, 211 points total. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but, you know, it adds up. All right, come on home, Baroskis. And this is Savoy, sure. Oh, I wasn't going to invest in that guy. Ah, whatever. I forgot. Oh, 64-year-old. Oh, I think I was just hoping too much. I was hoping too much. Alright, so... Yeah, we need one more war before we can uh, get rid of these clowns. Get me another claim on Miram. Thank you. How long is our claim on Bello Zero and Vyatka for? Long time. Long time. Okay, good. Okay, Kazan. One ally. Good. So, let's do a war with Kazan. I want to take them as a protectorate and their buddy Chagtai protectorate them too. So, take that, you little jerk. But we'll have to fight this war next time. Thank you for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Let's run some troops over, por favor. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.